Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel once again. Today I'll be explaining about participles. So let's begin. The word participle comes from classical Latin word participium from participles as it means sharing or participation because it shares certain properties of verbs and adjectives now let's see the definition of participle a participle is a word which has the attribute of verb and adjectives it is also known as verbal adjective in english language there are three participles present participle past participle and perfect participle Let's get start with the present participle first. Present participle is formed by adding ing to the base form of the verb. It is form of the verb generally ends in ing. It indicates an action which is going on or incomplete In other words when we add ing with the base form it is known as present participles Let's see examples She is sleeping in her room He is reading tales of adventures. Sleeping and reading in both of the sentences are present participles. In the given table we can see more examples to understand present participles in a better way. reading playing writing doing and sleeping are known as present participles now let's begin with past participle and its examples a past participle is formed by adding ed t d n or en it is commonly used as the third form of the verb and it indicates that an action is completed past participle expresses completed action or it is used in the formation of perfect tense let's see the given examples she cooked fried rice last night he has written a novel of his personal experience now the words cooked and written in both of the sentences are known as past participles let's read out the table for better analysis in the given table third form of verb slept said played written and grown are known as past participles
the third one is perfect participle let's study it for the examples a perfect participle is formed with having and third form of the verb in other words it is a grammatical phrase formed by adding the word having with a past participle perfect participles are used to indicate that one action ended almost frequently before another started let's see examples having heard the news of an accident he decided to take a day off to see her wife example number 2 having finished her homework ria planned to prepare for her unit tests having heard and having finished in both of the sentences are known as perfect participle let's repeat the perfect participles once again perfect participles are formed by adding word having with the third form of the verb for example having told having brought having grown having played having developed and having slept finally let's revise formation of all the participles all together present participle is formed by adding ing with the first form of verb for example going starting and working past participle is actually a third form of verb for example gone started and worked perfect participle is formed with the word having by adding third form of verb for example having gone having started and having worked